to opening statement today in the fraud and conspiracy case against Ramesh Sonny Balwani, the former boyfriend of Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes, going on trial two months after she was convicted of fraud. Rebecca Jarvis has been following this story from the start and is back with more. Good morning again, Rebecca. Hi, Michael. And given all the media and attention surrounding this case, it's been hard to actually pin down jurors who haven't heard about it already. But today, after four days of jury selection, we have 12 jurors who are set to hear the case of the former boyfriend and COO of Elizabeth Holmes, which begins today with opening statements. This morning, more than two months after disgraced Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes was convicted of four counts of fraud, her former boyfriend, Ramesh Sonny Balwani, begins his own criminal trial in the same San Jose courthouse. Balwani, who served as the chief operating officer of Theranos, faces 12 counts of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud, to which he's pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors say Balwani knowingly misrepresented the company's blood testing capabilities to investors, patients, and doctors in order to profit. Balwani's attorney joined me for an interview in 2018 and said that wasn't the case. This is a business failure, not fraud, and you're going to see uh, an acquittal in this case. The prosecution has a real leg up on its case against Sonny Balwani. They have the benefit of hindsight of being able to streamline their case. It's a double edged sword, though, because Balwani also has the advantage of having previewed the government's case against Elizabeth Holmes. And a lot of the evidence is going to be similar in his case. Balwani and Holmes were originally set to be tried together, but had their trials severed after Holmes accused Balwani of psychological and sexual abuse, claims he firmly denies. Sonny is going to have to argue that he came onto the scene late in the game. The buck always stopped with Elizabeth Holmes, and he wasn't necessarily privy to everything that was going on at Theranos while it was happening. The working and personal relationship between the former couple now depicted in the new Hulu series, The Dropout. This is an inspiring step forward. Starring Oscar-nominated Amanda Seyfried as Holmes and Lost star Naveen Andrews as Balwani. You are on a need-to-know basis. I'm the head of chemistry! Ah! Now. Elizabeth Holmes is not expected to testify at this trial, though she will be sentenced after Belwani's trial is completed some point in September and faces up to 20 years in prison for each of the four counts she was found guilty on, though, Michael, lawyers don't expect her to serve that long of a prison sentence. Michael. All right. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Joining us now is our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. And, and Dan, you could call the Elizabeth Holmes trial a dry run. For this trial that's that's coming up but who has the advantage now that her trial is over you know typically you'd say the defense right because now they've seen everything that the prosecution has they've seen all the witnesses what they're going to say the weaknesses and the strengths and now if a witness says something a little different the defense can use that and poke holes and say wait a sec in the first trial you said this or that that's a big advantage typically for the defense the difference in this case is that the prosecution didn't get convictions on a lot of the counts in the first trial so this was also a dry run for prosecutors to say, wait, what did we do wrong the first time? Why weren't we able to convince a jury that she had defrauded patients, that we were only able to convince them that there was a defrauding of the investors? What can we do differently this time as well? And Elizabeth Holmes testified in her trial. Will Balwani testify in his? Look, he could, but I think it's more unlikely. Because if you think about what her story was, right, her story was it was all him. He's the one who had manipulated me. I was the victim. I was naive. That's a different kind of narrative than for him. He was much more experienced. He was older. Those are factors that would weigh against him testifying in, in this case. It is possible, as Rebecca pointed out, that she could testify in this case against him, but I don't think prosecutors would call her. And this has become a, a pop culture phenomenon. So will that affect the trial at all? It shouldn't. Um, and that's one of the reasons jury selection has taken so long. I mean, the jury selection process in this case took much longer, I think, than they expected because so many of the jurors Prospective jurors knew something about the case or knew about the allegations of abuse, et cetera. So that's the way that it could potentially impact it. But, you know, the fact that there are you know, ongoing dramas, et cetera, uh, on TV and elsewhere shouldn't have an impact on the actual trial. All right. We'll see if it does. All right. Mike. Dan Abrams, thank you so much. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.